Welcome to PNC Sports. I'm your host, Carnation, and we have a special episode for you guys. This episode, we're talking about legends of the baseball game. For those of you that, for those of you guys who don't know, I love baseball. Baseball is probably one of my favorite sports to watch. Well, I love all sports, to be honest with you. I love every sport, hockey, tennis, golf, baseball, basketball, hockey. I said hockey already. Sorry about that. Football. But, um... I want to like talk about baseball today, especially two players, one known player that's probably the god MC of baseball, and a second player that I think doesn't get enough credit, or maybe does get credit in a certain aspect of his game. So the breakdown I'm trying to talk about right now, like um, we're obviously talking about Barry Lamar Bonds, um, Barry, Barry Bonds to me, and my I'm 30 years old. I'm 39 years old. Forgot my age. I'm 39 years old. I have to say Barry Bonds is the greatest player I've ever saw in my life. Ever. I've ever saw play baseball ever. He's not my favorite. You know, um, people then people always get that confused when I tell people all the time. Like, like say if I have a favorite person in a genre or a field, they'd be like, but you don't think he's the best? I said, nah, it's like this. For example, um, Cameron is my favorite rapper. Anything Cameron put out, I will always listen to. I will always give it a try. He's my favorite rapper. This is from my childhood. He's my favorite rapper. Do I think Cameron's the best? Fuck no. I don't think Cameron's the best rapper of all time. But he's my favorite rapper. It's the same thing with Barry Bonds. Do I think Barry is Barry Bonds my favorite like um, baseball player of all time? No. My favorite baseball player is like a it's like a it's a draw between it's a three ray draw between um Derek Jeter. A Rod and Ken Griffey Jr. And I ain't gonna lie to you, Aaron, Aaron Judge and Ronald Acuna are sneaking up to make it be a five way tie. But I don't think they're my favorite player, but they're not the best. The best player I've ever saw in my life is Barry Lamar Bonds. I've never seen, uh, and I, I'm gonna put some stats like on, you know, like in the ticker, because I want you guys to really see some of his stats. I've never seen a baseball player strike more fears in pitchers' eyes than Barry Bonds. Like, I know some of y'all youngsters probably don't even know this, or some of y'all only know about allegedly he was on steroids. Allegedly, right? Some of y'all only know about that, but Barry was the was the man before that. You understand? Barry was the legit five-two player, fielding, hitting, speed. What you want? Like <laughs> you know what I mean? What you want me to do? Defense? I got that. You want home runs? You know I got that. You want walks? I got that. You want contact? I got that. He had it all. He had it. 40-40, you want that? You want a 40-40 season? I got that. You know what I mean? You want a home run record season? You know I got that. You want me to strike up? You want me to walk more times than I, you know, that more than I struck out? I got that. Whatever you want, Barry had that. I think it's a crime. I think it's a like a... Now, granted, he wasn't as popular with the media as some some other players, but I think it's a crime at this service. Barry Bonds is not in the Hall of Fame. I don't give a damn what you think he might have done. Do I have <laughs> some suspicion? A little bit, like you know what I mean, a little bit. But yo, that man, I'm I'm be honest with you, I've never saw somebody whose bat speed was that quick. Like I'm talking about, like quick. Uh, I remember a player back in my day of watching baseball called um, Alfonso Soriano. He had an incredible bat speed, too. But nothing was like Barry Bonds. The precision, the timing, the power, like, yo, the, the fear. Yo, I watch, I swear to y'all, I'm not lying. Google if you think I'm lying. I seen, I seen pitchers walk that man when the bases was loaded to walk in a run because they would rather give up one run than give up four to Barry Bonds. I seen it multiple times. He's. I watched that man hit a home run with a broken bat. You know what I'm trying to tell you? I watched that man almost hit a home run out of Yankee freaking stadium. They just... I watched that man get walked. Like, yo, l- listen, they literally was walking this man just for the sake of, you know what, we're not pitching to him. It's a wonder, like, um, his stats is even how it is. Because I'm like, there's a, there was like a three to four year period where they were just walking him. They were just saying, yo, fuck it. We walking in. Fuck this shit. I'm not going through this shit. I'm not. Because you got to see, sometimes, you know, we as, like, um, fans, 
we think, oh yeah, like um, a player hit like a 454 home run and you know it is what it is nah that does that's like a psychological damage it does to a pitcher because now he probably can't throw a specific pitch to that player anymore he probably can't come inside to that player he, he probably can't go to the outside of the you know of the strike line to that player because he's you know some players are very good with opposite field hitting and then if you if you if you like Barry Bonds who got apple power and could pull and could pull the and could pull a ball like to Mars, excuse me, I think I got something on my face. And could pull a ball to something, can can hit a ball to Mars. Like, what do you do with that? What do you do with a man that 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 got four hundred and fifty foot opposite power, opposite field power, and could hit a ball six hundred feet if he pulls it? What do you do? You can't do anything with it. Now, do I think Barry is 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 he under suspicion of taking stuff? It's never been proven. It's never been proven, but does the eye test tell you that Barry might have taken stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I've never took steroids. Three years ago, I was 155 pounds, and now I'm 175. I got bigger. I'm not gonna lie. I put on weight, and my head got kind of bigger, but I never took steroids, so there's a possibility maybe Barry just... I'm sorry, I couldn't even keep a straight face with that. But it's a, it's a possibility Barry probably just, you know, he probably put on weight. Besides, besides that, I don't give a damn what they say. And to speak about the whole steroid era, a lot of them was doing it. I, I heard one theory that said like at least 80% of the players was on steroids back in the 90s to early 2000s and mid-2000s. To, mid my, one of my favorite players, A-Rod, got caught. You know, got caught twice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, got caught twice. Do I look at him as less than a player like these so-called baseball purists? Fuck no. A Rod's still the man to me. A Rod is gonna forever be the man to me. He's he's that dude. Um, I got nothing bad to ever to ever say about A Rod. You know, he he could have. Uh, I'm lying. He could have performed a little bit better in the postseason. But that '09 postseason, A Rod wiped away everything you did bad to me. I think it's a crying shame too. You're not in the Hall of Fame. Um, I'm not going to front to you I, do, I, I even think it's a shame that Clemens is not in the Hall of Fame Manny Ramirez is not in the Hall of Fame This is insane they're not in the Hall of Fame But that's my shout out to Barry Bonds The most feared hitter of all time The most He literally was a cheat code He was a 99 overall yeah, I think Shohei was a badass motherfucker No there's nothing like Barry Bonds There's nothing like Barry Lamar Bonds And Barry I salute you. They need to put your ass in the Hall of Fame. Now, this next player I want to talk about is probably remember I told y'all before Griffey is one of my three is one of my three favorite players because Griffey also was a five-two player, can do it all. Defense was impeccable, and Griffey played an important position, which is center field. Center field, shortstop, and catcher to me is probably the most three most important position on the baseball field. Those three positions. Some may just say center field alone, but I, I always like to say center field, shortstop, and catcher. Those three positions. This guy plays center field. For those of y'all who know what I'm talking about, he was number 25 in Atlanta Braves. We're talking about Andrew Jones. His son is just got drafted last year too, but Andrew Jones. And it's tough for me to say this because Griff. Is one of my top three favorite players. But I think Andrew Jones is a better defensive player than Ken Griffey Jr. I'm telling you, I, like, for those of y'all don't know, like, back in the day, um, Ted Turner used to own TBS, like, Turner Sports. He's, he, he's the owner. I don't, know, I don't know if he still owns it or not, but I, what Ted Turner did, he used to, because he, he owned, he owned TBS and TNT, he used to also, like, um, on the Atlanta Braves so if you had cable and you had TBS the Atlanta Braves used to always play on TBS or every year for like at least like to my knowledge from like when I started watching baseball in 1990 to like 05 so you still used to always watch the, the Yankees the Mets you know living in New York the Yankees the Mets and the Atlanta Braves all the time you didn't you know satellite nothing you had those three teams guaranteed you're gonna watch and Andrew Jones came up in a 96 playoff 
I remember facing the um, Yankees, and I'm like, who the fuck is running around catching everything like this? Almost ruined our chance to get our damn first championship in like 20 years. But Andrew was special defensively. I literally watched Andrew Jones play the most shallow, shallow center field ever and still catch the ball if it's going like literally 420 feet. I watched Ryan Klesko, who's like a, who was like a, like, um, a braised like outfielder. I literally watched Ryan Klesko had a ball come to him. Andrew Jones paused. Had a ball going his way. Andrew Andrew Jones literally ran 20 feet to right field to catch the ball for Ryan Cusco. He had no reason doing that. Like, you know what I mean? Ryan got it. You know what I mean? Ryan's, you know, no offense, Ryan. He's a little slow-footed. But, and I guess Andrew, like, yo, I'm not taking a chance with this motherfucker anymore. I'm going to catch this. Yo, he literally snatched the ball to Ryan Jones, like out of Ryan Cusco hands. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like Andrew was a beast. I want y'all to Google Andrew's highlights. You see what I'm talking about? I know a lot of times people people think that Andrew um, is not a Hall of Fame. I put him in the Hall of Fame just off his defense alone. Shit, in, in basketball, Ben Wallace got in the Hall of Fame just off his defense alone. You know what I mean? He's in the Hall of Fame just off his defense alone. I put Andrew Jones in the MLB, and I know. Um, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame is a little bit more slow it's more politics and like in the in the criteria to get into the Hall of Fame when it comes to like Major League Baseball. It's a lot of politics. Um and people probably only remember Andrew Jones his last years when he's with the Dodgers, the Yankees. I think he played for the White Sox too. That's not the Andrew Jones I remember. I don't remember Andrew Jones being that dude. I remember Andrew Jones hitting 40 home runs a year, give you 19 to 20 bases, 20 stolen bases, gold glove, like eight, nine, ten years straight in center field. And that's the Andrews I remember. And I'm always gonna remember him and him doing that. Yo, low key too. That was like a golden era for for like center fielders. Cause you know, to give him some shout out to shout out Jim Edmonds. Jim, Ed, Jim Edmonds was a bad boy in center field too. Kenny Lofton bad boy in center field you know alongside with Griff doing this thing but those players it was it was it was tough you understand you got and also too shout out to Carlos Beltran Beltran once again you probably only remember chunky Beltran I remember slim you know in shape Beltran who was I think the thing with Beltran and maybe you don't realize how great a center field he was he did everything too smooth he was very relaxed very calm it didn't look like because he was so smooth, it was full effort for Carlos. But it was he was he's putting full effort. You you can't do all what he did if you're not putting full effort. But he was just so smooth. He's just a naturally gifted player. And sometimes it looked like on in, in any sport, any player you see that's naturally gifted, it looks like they're not giving full effort because the game comes so easy to them. But they 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 they, they definitely give an effort. So I want to give a shout out to Jim Edmonds, Carlos Beltran, Kenny Lofton. Jesus, he was fast. Um, there's some there's some other center fielders. I'm talking, Mike Cameron. Mike Cameron's another great center fielder. You know, like I said, and and I bring up all those players to let y'all know the fact that Griffey and Andrew Jones was winning all those gold all those gold gloves, and there was so much talent in the center field category that they were still doing it. It just shows you how how great they was, like how a top top of the cream there was like Andrew was that dude in the National League you was for I'm telling you for a night for a good seven or nine years run he ran that he ran that center field like a gold glove I want to shout out to those guys and listen man he needs to be in the Hall of Fame I know you're gonna say his numbers his sabermetrics numbers you know the you know the nerd talk they're gonna say he don't deserve this he don't deserve that yo man that man alone changed you know, like, 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 save so many runs from happening against the Braves. Now, granted, the Braves already had a cheat code. They already had Glavin, Maddox, and Smokes, and Chipper Jones. So you didn't really even need Andrew Jones. He was just a, he's an add-on. But that add-on became a top two player for them. You know, because Chipper Jones is the Hall of Famer. You got to put Andrew Jones in there, man. You know, and that's my shout-out video for those two players. Uh, I think I'm going to do this a lot, like, every week. Like, do, like, you know, like, shout-out. Shout out to players that don't get like a, like a lot of recognition, even though they was great in all sport, including tennis and golf. Um, 
Cause these players need their love too, man. And I, I, I hate hearing people let's give them, let's get them their flowers. And they already passed away. Nah, let's let's celebrate them while they're alive. You know what I mean? So this is Carnation, PNC Sports. Shout out to the greatest player of all time, Barry Lamar Bonds, and probably the greatest defensive center field of all time, Andrew Jones. Special shout out once again to Jim Edmonds, Carlos Beltran. Um, those guys are nasty. Mike Cameron, nasty. So, I salute y'all. Holla at me. See y'all next time on PNC Sports. Carnation.